for lack of a, a fancier title, this is an ode to David and Chris. It seems just like yesterday, not 50 years, when to each other you've heard said, I do. Your future ahead, filled with hope and some fear, you clung to each other, true blue. If Dave ever doubted that Chris had his back, absentee she proved not to be. With tidy whities the only clothes on his back, she rescued him when tied to a tree. <laughs> in college at Western and the stress it imparts, you learn balance in life must rule. So you worked and you studied, but opened your hearts to a lap full of drool named Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Their first home a tin can, tight quarters, no club, a haven for all and quite childproof. Jules slept snug as a bug in a blanket-filled tub while yep. Lullaby rained on the roof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. In a trailer than apartments, the three lived for a while, but a house would pr improve self-esteem. So to Canton they moved, on their faces a smile, to live out the American dream. A bundle of joy, Jules brought smiles to your face, and only child, she was everything to you. But after eight years alone, she would have to share space with a curious towhead named Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Once able to walk, he searched unrelenting, at times to his grandparents' surprise. When night found his southpaw, southpaw proudly presenting Grandpa's stereo's toad arm, toad arm, a prize. Once able to walk, he searched unrelenting. Oh, excuse me. As for pets, they had Douglas for a short little while, but left him with Grandma when moving. Julie had always requested a dog as a child, but Dave was resistant, unmoving. When Jeff, 17, really wanted a canine, Chris took him to search at the pound. When Dave arrived home, unbeknownst in his mind, a four-legged roommate for life they had found. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes that's true. Half Golden Retriever, half German Shepherd, Valentino, Val for short, he was named. Tan and black, he was colored, his demeanor none better. Bringing joy unmatched was his fame. Yes. And none about history, especially the Brits. Everyone knows Dave's password is 1066. <laughs> I guess that's hard to, yeah. <laughs> to no one's surprise, a trip he devised to King Richard's homeland in 2005. July 7th, they landed, a day in mine frozen, the next several hours surreal. On the train outside London, a terrorist explosion, they'd hoof miles like refugees for real. Despite the rough start, they vowed to go back, more England there was to be seen. Perhaps, perhaps next time around, they'll forego the tracks and let sh Lyft sh chauffeur them to the Queen. <laughs> yeah. Life's next big, big event left their hearts fully buoyed as Claire Bear came in, into their world. Their, life filled, their lives filled forever with absolute joy. Around her small finger, Papa and Nana were curled. Yeah. As the pure little princess, she liked dressing up, especially with Nana's own jewelry. Thank goodness she did didn't get full into makeup, or Jules would become judge and jury. <laughs> <laughs> Living in Canton, they had a good life, but the lake house would soon gain Dave's favor. The push for the move would come out of strife, brought on by a schizophrenic neighbor. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly. Both retired from Ford at the lake they felt free. They embraced their life in the woods. And despite her MS, Chris became queen of QV QVC, and Dave became king of home goods. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> now, today is their day. They've been five decades together, and we all wish them many more years. They've mastered the secret of overcoming whatever, even though it has meant a few tears. So though 50 years has come and gone, for them it's just the start. For his husband and wife, they too became one, joined not at the hip, but forever in their hearts. Aww. Aww. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Time for a ching ching. Nicely done. Oh, oh, 